And here we are with a brand new broadcast. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Elon Paul. Um, you'll notice that probably my YouTube channel is going to say Elon Paul C or something like that along those lines. Um, the reason why is because I actually found that there was another YouTuber out there that actually uses two separate words, Elon space Paul. And I wanted to make sure I wasn't going to accidentally uh, be misinterpreted as being part of his channel in any way, obviously. So I've been using that particular name for many, many years. Um, this is going back probably at least 20 years or more when I used to belong to a company that had the word Elon in it. Um, no relation to Elon Musk, of course, but you know, just it's just a name of a company. And uh, we needed to use that name in order to create our own Gmail accounts so we could access, access files from our installation companies in the field. So that's why I have the name Elon Paul. So a little bit of personal information there. Um, so anyway, who am I? Um, I've given you my name. I am an old school gamer. I go back many years. I'm probably older than most of the people that are watching this video um, as far as in the gaming uh, scenario. Uh, let me date myself a little bit. My first uh, MMORPG was EverQuest. Played that for many years and nearly ruined my marriage. Um, but first games that I played were on a little-known system called a Commodore 64. That should tell you how old I am. So it goes back a long time. Been doing this for many years as far as the gaming routine is concerned, but have just been getting into the streaming portion of things. Now, obviously, I'm not streaming live. I'm doing this as a recording so I can go in and edit. Uh, my kids are very much interested in helping out in that regard, so uh, they may have a little bit of... Uh, input in regards to maybe saying, okay, this scene here, Dad, is really boring. We're going to go ahead and cut it short. We're going to fade you out here and fade you back in over here so that we can get this, this whole thing moving along. Um, so that's who I am. That's what we're going to be doing. Now, as you can see, I'm playing No Man's Sky. I've been playing No Man's Sky for about three years now or so. Um, I've got 1,650 or so hours into this game. I've got multiple saves, of course. I have two main saves. I will show you my uh, my current main save that I'll play uh, on occasion, but that'll be in a later episode. What we're going to do today is we're just going to experiment. I'm going to do a permadeath run. Now, I tried doing a recording earlier on a permadeath run, uh, and here's where it ended up. It was a permadeath Iron Man challenge, sort of along the lines of what Jason Plays has talked about. Um, I'm sure a lot of you follow him from No Man's Sky, and... Uh, I follow several of them. Jason Plays is one of my main go-tos. I always follow his channel, really love all the work he does. He's an awesome guy. Um, uses the word awesome in my uh, uh, thought process here as a little too often, but he is so uh, positive. It's just a joy listening to him. I just need to cheer up for the day, I'll listen to his video. Uh, any video that he has out there, I'll just go through it and listen to what he has to say. And, you know, 90% of the time I'm learning something new about the game, so there you are. Uh, but Jason's a wonderful addition to uh, anybody's repertoire and, or, or their whole list of subscribers that they subscribe to or follow, as the case may be. Um, next up on the list that I follow are Zane's World. Um, Mr. Zane is a very good uh, uh, producer of No Man's Sky material and, can re and does a lot of comparisons, uh, like weapon comparisons, multi-tool comparisons, uh, ship comparisons, everything. Really good stuff. Um, he's going nuts now with the new 4.0 that's come out, so obviously he's having to produce more videos. And Jason's producing more uh, tutorial-style videos, as well as doing some, some of these runs, too. Uh, Beeblebum, one of my best glitch creators. Um, he is absolutely fabulous um, in what he, can, what he can do and what he can design. He actually made a Moss Eisley Cantina. Um, absolutely astounding. You almost expected to see Jawas walking around inside and stuff. It was incredible. Um, what a fabulous uh, content creator there, too. Um, as well as others. Uh, Survival Bob, who is anything but surviving. He usually dies quite often, so I'm not quite sure about the name, but I love him anyway. He's a really great guy. Um, and several others. There are many others that I also follow on, on, on there. Um, so that's what I do. I play No Man's Sky. I do play other games on occasion, too. Um, I have played Minecraft for many years uh, as well. I am nowhere near as good as any of the people out there. I think my son's a little bit better than I am at this point. He's, uh, what, 11. So um, that tells you a little something there. But I love space-based games. One of my first games that I came across was Freelancer by Microsoft. Some of you might remember that. That goes back a good, ouch, 15, 
20 years, I guess. But absolutely fabulous game of, of exploring a universe. I mean, it was a storyline and everything like that, but exploring a universe, landing on planets. You didn't do a whole lot on planets. And when I discovered, or when someone helped me discover No Man's Sky, I was thrilled with the prospect of landing on a planet and exploring. And it blew my mind when I played this game. I've been playing it for three years straight. I don't think I've stopped. I have never gotten bored. It is a wonderful game. Even with the additions, even with the transitions going from one version to another, it has been fabulous. Um, I was a little bit upset at first at 4.0, but it was good. When I looked at it and I stood back and I took another look at it, I'm like, I got a new game to play. That's the way I looked at it. I looked at it as an entirely new game to play. So, yay! It was pretty cool, and I'm sitting there on my old saves, like you see my Alan Paul beta main up here. Wow, I got an even 160 hours to the minute. An incredible. Anyway, that is my current main save that I'm playing with. I do have a second one right here. I haven't gone into it in a while. As you can see, it's been a couple months. Um, it obviously needs to be updated. There's some work to do in there with all my ships and stuff like that. But this is my current weight, uh, main, main save. I really need to rename that outpost. Whitney Outpost just doesn't work. I really need to do something about that. Um, so that's where I'm at. This was my last run, like I said, in permadeath at the full maximum, and the recording came out crappy. I don't know what happened. Uh, uh, it was in three separate recordings. The first one seemed to record pretty well. The second one had this echo that was driving me bonkers, and I couldn't get rid of it. And then the third one came through, and I was way too quiet. You couldn't hear me with the audio in the background. So literally, I've been spending the last, like, 45 minutes readjusting OBS to try to get it to do this properly, or me adjusting it and learning. It's not OBS's fault by any means, it's me. So uh, I really got it going here, I think, finally, and I'm sure you can hear me just fine now. I got the audio adjusted from the game a little bit. Hopefully it won't drown me out when we get to some of the loud sections and stuff like that. As you know, the audio in No Man's Sky is, I would say, 95% perfect. But there are spots that it's like, whoa, where did that audio come from? It's super, super loud. I don't know where it happened. So we'll see how this goes. All right, so we're going to play, like I said, a, a permadeath Iron Man challenge. So basically, it's a no ship starter challenge in permadeath at the maximum settings. So I'm going to go ahead and get that going to begin with. I'll choose a. Whoop, wow, I've got some saves in here I didn't even know I still had. Okay, well, anyway, here we go. New game. We're going to do it custom. And the first thing you do here, because just to make it easy, is we want to make everything very, very challenging. So save deleted. And you notice that everything gets blacked out. Survival difficulty, challenging. Source is scarce. Scanner recharge is challenging. Damage levels are challenging. We're going to just crank it all up. We are going to hurt a lot from this game. Challenging. Hostile. Hostile. Keep going. Tutorial missions we are going to disable. Um, tutorial is wonderful, I, I don't mind that, but you have access to some other stuff that you kind of need during the challenge. And this gives us the opportunity to do so. Um, difficulty settings we're going to lock. I am not going to change any of this, so you know that I'm never going to come back in here and do a thing. So I like this idea, here's how we're going to do it. Um, too bad we can't rename that so I can say, hey, you know, use this one. Anyway, so here we go. Moving along, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to No Man's Sky Permadeath Iron Man Challenge. No starter ship. So here we go. Um, going to do something else now. By nature, I am somewhat introverted. When I get out into the public and I uh, start getting mingling with other people, I tend to open up more and tend to relax a little bit. The initial uh, jumping into conversations is tough for me at times, but I'm pretty good at jumping into things um, and, and opening up once I've jumped into things. That said, I tend to ramble a little bit. Uh, other times I forget I need to be talking more, and uh, especially in a situation like this. So if you get some quiet spots in here, I'm sure my kids will edit the crap out of it. Um, I'm going to keep it clean. Uh, the worst word hopefully you hear out of me is crap. So um, I try, I, I think as, as people, in general, I know the human language and every other language on the face of this planet can be very, uh... Whoop. Here we go, that's right, no E, you just start right away. Let's let everything populate. I look, think I've got a cave right here. 
Holy mackerel. What a fortunate occurrence. Okay, let's head for the cave. I could use some cobalt to start with. It looks like we've got some humming sacks over here. Get some of these pearls, some early money. All right. You know what? I swear I get too much cobalt. I think I'm gonna go get some ferrite. We'll come back to this in a second. Look around, find a rock. We need ferrite to do some repairs. I need at least 75 of that to get things moving. Once I get into the cave and we can chill for a little bit, I'll start talking a little bit more about, or get back to the conversation I was having a second ago. Oops, okay. to get about 125. I just have a funny feeling I'm going to need a little extra. Oh yeah, I'll need extra to make the uh, some batteries, I think. I think the batteries require a little bit of ferrite, so we'll see what we can do about getting that. Oh, we're going to be listening to that through that this whole thing. Great. Yay. Alright. Oh, ferrite. Let's go ahead and grab it. Okay, we're looking pretty good. 164, that's not too shabby. Uh, I do need carbon. Uh, what do you think around here has carbon? That's ferrite. Oh, we've got unidentified plants here. What does that give us? Not a lot at all. Uh, that's a plant. There we go. Ooh, that's a big plant. Duh. Oh, that's not going to work, huh? Uh, ferrite... Carbon. Oh, I might get lucky and there might be some in that cave over there. Uh, let's see. Oh, dihydrogen. Alright. We only got a little bit of carbon, so. They blow up quickly, gives me at least a little bit of bonus. Down to two. Uh, one of those runs. And you notice that the toxic protection falls slowly. Darn it. How much we got? 55. Let's get at least a couple hundred if we can. I don't know if it's going to take a little while to get all this, but. 31, 32. Where did that plant go? There it is. Okay. Must have picked up something else, so I'm not tracking it now. How much we got? Excuse me? Uh, 75. Scanning these creatures, don't worry, I could use some nanites. And a little bit of cash, of course. the easiest times to do these recordings when some of my peoples in my house are asleep still. 177. I want to get up to 200 if I can. I think we'll get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Recharge. We're at 216. Good deal. That'll be enough for now. 
Let's get in here and get some of that uh, cobalt we were talking about, and then we'll do some repairs. It doesn't look like this cave is deep, but it's going to do the job. Now that's important. Watch those ships. Ooh, they got uh, solar ships too. Oh, uh, one thing you're going to learn about this run, when you do all those settings all the way up to maximum like we did, yeah, those ships aren't cheap anymore. You're not going to get a ship for 4 mil or 5 mil. The cheapest one I found on one of these runs is just under 7. Just under 7. So, yeah. There's that. Alright, let's see what we got. Some stuff around. There, multi tool. Scanner, we can finally repair you. Uh, I'm going to put you over here. I'm going to put you here. I need a carbon nanotube. That's what I needed all that carbon for. Uh, carbon Let's get a battery. How many can we make? Seven of them, good. And we have to make dihydrogen, which we could make one dihydrogen. Oh, and get us a one gel. Oh, that uses Stop up some of my carbon, though. Okay, so let's repair this. So now we have a scanner, or analysis visor, pardon me. I do need that, the terrain manipulator. I'll need two carbon nanotubes. Let's just at least put it in here and a dihydrogen jelly. We'll get those later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I love the sounds of the uh, cave that we're not in. So that's a zooming effect for those who are new to the game. Now I'm told that I have a pretty calm and soothing voice. I don't know. It's not like I'm going to do a, any ASMR anytime soon. We've got seven creatures on the planet, and I've already discovered five of them. I don't think there's any water on this planet, so I'm assuming that there's probably one more flying creature, and probably one more cave creature. Alright, we're going to take a quick look. Okay, so that's where the ship is. I'd like to head south, but before we do that... Let's find out where we are. Oh, wait a minute. While well, we're in there. Let's see. So one ground, one underground. Okay, so I was wrong. So one more ground creature. We are on that area of the planet. So heading south is okay. I'm thinking heading north might be better. But we'll check out the place that's over here just to see what it is. Well, that would be the shortest run ever if that were the case. Now, I'm finding a lot of the materials in this particular run are not going to be worth much. So... Um, we're going to want to gather up buried technology. That'll be the way to go. So, we're going to keep an eye open for that. We'll try to get as much of that as possible. Um, is there anything else in this? Is this actually a cave? Alright. Yeah. it doesn't have a question mark on any of those secondary material. I'm not really concerned about getting anything from these guys, other than getting some cobalt from them, which I kind of need. Now, you notice that the toxic protection is dropping like a rock now? Yeah. That's what this mode does. At the very beginning, they go easy on you at first, and then later on, they start cranking up the damage. I want to get about a hundred of this. There we go. That's good. I'm going to run into the cave here in just a second. Oh, no I'm not. That's what I'm doing. Dropping that in. And I'm going to get these, because I could use oxygen in the rest. Look at the whole bundle of them here, man. This is great. Granted, it's only giving me uh, a few oxygen. I'm going to 
get some sodium. Darn it. Wow, there's a whole bunch of them here. Jeez, this is incredible. I haven't seen a conglomeration of them like this in a long time. What do you call it? Oh, there's a whole bunch on the sidewall, too. Gotta watch my carbon. Now, I learned something about the ships I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, and I'm 99% certain now that I'm right. As you watch the ships take off into the distance, they are heading for the next um, landing platform, if you will. And if you watch the direction that they're going, they go in the direction, and if you watch them as they go in the distance, they turn left to right. That means that's where the landing platform is. It's to the left or to the right. If they drop down or go straight up, it means that's where the landing platform is. You're heading in the right direction or heading straight. Now, the only problem is, how far away is it? Can't tell you. Sometimes it could be just around the river bend, not to quote a certain movie from a certain company. Other times it is way in the distance, and you'll be walking for hours. Uh, my shortest run right now is an hour in doing this mode. There we go, and there's nothing else in here. Except the sound of a cave. I love this. This is great. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and analyze it. I want to know what the secondary element is. It's poop. No, I'm kidding. It's dihydrogen, which is very handy. Ah, crap. I wasn't trying to do that. Sodium. Oh, that's handy. within the cave, so let's get some more of this cobalt. I'm kind of glad my last run didn't go well. Or the recording, I should say, didn't. I don't have any carbon. Okay. Um, didn't go well because I think I needed to practice talking to myself. Like, I really need that kind of practice. Kids have caught me talking to myself. At times they do it now too on their own, but it's like, uh, Dad, why do you talk to yourself? I use the Gandalf line. Because you're talking to the wisest person in the room right now. And you want to get the best advice from them. Alright. I think we got enough. Wow. Okay, that's good. And we got a little bit ionized. We can sell off or use for something else, whatever. Oh. That was pretty cool. Any other ground teachers or underground teachers? Anywhere, anywhere. Okay, no. We're gonna head over that way. Let's get this ball rolling. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're on our way. So we're gonna need some carbon, because we're obviously almost out. Another thing we want to look for is um, red carbon, kind of condensed, condensed carbon. You're not attacking me, buddy. Let's get up there. Looks like a little 
yeah, yeah, one of those machines. All right. We went too long without charging. Okay, what are we getting? No, no, it's... Holy crap! Oh, I feel it good. I feel that this is really good right about now. This is going to be a very good run. Look at that. Awesomeness. That could not have gone any better. That could not have gone any better, guys. I'm telling you, you don't get that lucky. I want a four-hour run, and I never found anything that could help me out like that. Wow. Okay, this, this is fantastic news. All right. I need carbon. I need carbon. I need carbon. There's no cases here. So which way are we going to go? I think I'm going to head south anyway. Because if this is the what, I, what happened when I went south, then I'm thinking it might be a good idea. So let's give it a shot. Um, where's south? South is that direction. Ship is all the way over there. So let's head this way. And I'm going to get this berry tech... Oh, I can't get berry technology. Well, I'll head in that direction anyway. Maybe I'll get some carbon on the way and I can finally build some crap. There it is. Crap. Oh, he said a bad word. No, he didn't. Language. Oh, trust me. If I go live, I'm going to be doing that. You're going to see Captain America in there. Language. Guaranteed. Um, something about these permadeath runs. Grab stuff. Like that. Because what is it good for? It gives you life support. And then you don't have to waste anything else. Smart move, right? And the first couple of days, I think it's at least one day, maybe two, you don't have any sentinels on your butt. So, you know what? Gather up the crystals as quickly as you can. Because they won't be attacking you anytime soon. Advanced mining things. I heard... Damage? No. Anything get damaged? No. Okay. Continue on. Yep. Still got to be careful. That's one thing they did adjust. If you all have heard, um, in permadeath mode, usually if you fell, you would get severely damaged, and in all likelihood, you would die. So. They have adjusted that a little bit, and we don't worry about it as much. Uh, okay, I need a lot more carbon. I wish I could find a cave to hang out in. I gotta get some of these. Oh, there's a drop over there. Oh, okay. Okay, we're getting some carbon in there. Let me see what's in here. take the, uh, I mean, you get two for one on that. Ooh, dihydrogen. Excellent. Okay. Let's get this going. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. 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 By Keen. And there we go. Now we don't have to have that happen. Any... Anybody, 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 any. No red dots, right? Oh, we have a red dot. We just got our last. Top of the world to you there, buddy. Now, what happens if I run out of carbon? And I can't charge something. You can hit it with your elbow. Let's see, how much carbon do I have? Uh, carbon, 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 115. That means we can make two of these. And it should allow us to repair our multi-tool. Guess what? We have the ability to do what we need to do. So where is... there it is. Sorry guys, I'm going to disturb you. I apologize. Toxic protection. 
go. And we're south. South is that way. We got another one on the way. We got a plant up there on the hill. Gather up the condensed carbon to charge your beam, uh, your your mining beam, because it's way more efficient. Uh, I know I've heard Jason say it before. It is worth. Oh, a big cave. It is worth um, emphasizing, repeating. Like I said before about cussing and stuff like that, it is just, there's so many different words you can use, especially in the English language, which, if you ask, in my opinion, sucks. Um, it's way too much to have to remember. A hard language for any other. Uh, no. Hold on. It's a tough language for other um, non-English speaking groups to learn. Sentinels to bother me about taking him out. There we go. Now I'm letting the, letting it die, letting the uh, uh, toxic protection go like this because the longer I can let it go, and then add a battery to my shield, the better. All right, heading south. Which way? We have ourselves a building. Now, the next thing I'd love to get is something for my jetpack. Yeah, I'll get that later. Oh, you know what? Wait a second. I just remembered we have food on us, right? Hazard protection. There you go. See how that worked? Pretty cool. Now, see, that's good. Right there. Right there. Watch them. I'm telling you, as long as it's two ships or more, and it's usually two or three. If you see one, it's kind of hard to track what's going on. But which way do they go? You see how they're drifting left? They would go right through the hill if they wanted to. But there's probably a landing platform in this general direction. So not quite south. It'll be over to the left. That's what they're trying to tell you. Okay? JPs. That gives me, remember, life support. And we're up to 65% of my life support. Isn't that nice? Isn't that special? Whoa. Got a little bump there. That was good. I do need some more carbon at some point. I'm keeping my eye open for condensed. Ah, another mini campsite with nothing. Okay, let's add that battery in, shall we? Oh, wait a minute. Right there. No, we're not throwing two batteries. We're going to do one. See? And there we go. Let's go ahead and get it. Give us some nanites. It saves our game. In case we have to go back for some reason. Now, the new version 4.0 does a lot of... Um, yeah, there's a lot of noise in the background there. The new 4.0 does a lot of, um, I wish I could have seen them, uh, that's the word I'm looking for, does a lot of auto saves on its own, so, hmm, platinum, it's not really worth as much as you think, so, I don't know if I'm going to go for it or not. Here, I really could use more of those. I have enough for That's not what I was trying to do. Okay. I need carbon. Alright, let's go get some carbon. I want to produce some more life gels.
A lot of these planets, they have like a plant, a specific plant that will give you tons of carbon. And I can never find it. Too late. Okay. Guess what? This is what we're looking for. All right. So I think we can charge our beam up now with this. Fully charged. And then we can also do. There we go. Okay, so we'll definitely need some regular carbon. Again, we don't have any sentinels yet, so we're going to keep doing this. Sorry for the dead spots in there, I thought I heard the front door. When you got headphones on, you know, can't really hear a whole heck of a lot. There we go. All right, so we got some carbon. I expect that we're going to start to see some sentinels popping up soon. Uh, no more places to go. Fungal cluster, that doesn't help me any. Copper, I'm not really interested in right now. Alright, let's go for that, and we'll just keep going. Plenty of oxygen. I'll go ahead and use that to charge that. And some funky animals, man. Oh, wrong button. head that direction, we'll pick up some plants on the way, and that can help me out. I get the sodium plants, but, oh, damage machinery, though. Alright, let's head to that one. Okay. Uh, 
Not that I need anything from there. Okay. Hey, cool. That works. Now give me one more of those. I do need more batteries. Let me see if I can get some more. Got cobalt. Yeah, we should be good. Good sir. open that yet? Yeah, we did. Okay. We didn't get anything from it, right? I wasn't paying close enough attention. Nope. Just uh, some nanites. That's fine. Alright. What do we got in the distance? Nothing. Oh, there's buried technology right here. Is on the way and get some more minerals. If we can find a decent cave, we can hide out a little bit. Looks like we just passed over one. Get some minerals. Did we just hit two of them? Holy crap! Well, that was something. Collecting those because those are worth the most right now. Everything else has been. Whew, it's messed up, actually. our first sighting of a sentinel. Okay, so it's, it looks like it's one full day. At the point at which you stop. Oh, you bastard. No damage though, so we're in good shape. And what is that? Oh, it's just, okay, yeah, never mind. See, whenever you see these humming sacks, that means you're near a cave. But you may not have you may not have access to the upper world. Okay, so that one's heading in the direction that we're heading, so that's a good thing. Hey, what do we got here? Okay, so the sentinels fortunately don't seem to be any haters. to get up to the top of this, to be honest with you, because I want to see the countryside, if you will. I want to be able to determine if there's something maybe nearby. The oxygen again. Let him 
investigate. Hi, how you doing? Take my picture. Ugh, nothing to see. Oh well. that we need to be heading that direction. Okay. I see some... something right down here. Some damaged machinery and that's another spot that's like a small... Oh, good grief. What do we have? Should have been looking sooner. Uh, looks like one of those platforms. Navigation platform. Alright, let's go to this one first. It's, it's closer. Okay. Oh, good time. Hey, some poop covered. Great, just what we need. All right, more nanites. Let's save it. Ah, oh, that's. Well, I've seen freighters as they going through here. Frigates? Frigates? I always get those two computers out. Ship over, cheater. Uh, let's see what you got. Just that. What do we got in here? Cash. Nice. That's actually a pretty pretty good amount. Sixteen hundred. I'll take it. And over here. Nice, we get some nanites. Uh, shield recharge. Uh, that should get me a little more towards the Gek at this point. Oh, no, Viking. And that'll give us some more nanites. Okay, good deal. Alright, where to? South, south, south. Already been there, right? I know what that building is. Never mind. But uh, where else can we go? Uh, I'm not going up the hill. Uh, okay, we're going this way. I heard them fly over, and I don't see them anymore. Sentinels, so Okay, let's keep this going. 
Let's hope that this run doesn't have to last forever. We've been going for not quite, I think about 45 minutes now. I don't need that. And don't seem to have a lot of luck at finding too much. Although we did have that toxic protection we got at the beginning, so that's good. Too, and it's not just me. Well, supposedly there is a thing there. I don't see it. That's weird. Okay. Toxic protection. Falling. <sighs> just get up to one of these high points. ships landing in front of me, and I didn't have money to buy them. And that's what I'm afraid is going to happen again here. uranium, of course it will. It's sometimes worth it. That's really far away. It's sometimes worth it to do so. I mean, we're gonna get some. That's gold. That's gold too. That's gold too. I mean, I'm not trying to be picky, it's just gold doesn't sell well here right now. And uranium would be better for me. For if and when we actually find a ship. But, anyway. Uh, life support. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Oxygen. We've got plenty of oxygen. Wow, these are worth a lot. Let's get those cashed in. here. Up the hill. Take a look. Eh, not going to be able to see them too well. Which way, buddy? Left or right? Left. So it's over that way somewhere. Next thing we want to do is watch to see if they start circling. They're going a little bit more to the left. Let's see where they head. Are they going to go to the right, or are they going to go straight? Aha! To the left again. So it's over this way someplace. 
That's my guess. Okay. Where to? We got a house over there. Let's go head over there. There we go. Got to do it right. Okay, it's a little higher up than I thought. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. All right. This looks like just a little... Oh, it's one of those. Well, uh, I haven't had too much luck to think of them finding me anything that's more than 47 days away. But let's give it a shot. Gives us an opportunity to look at it from a bird's eye point of view. Anything? Anything, guys? Anything? I don't think I see anything. Yeah, how far away is that minor settlement? Two hours. I will not be headed in that direction. Never understood that. That's one thing I really wish they would fix is that it would find you something close. I don't know why the ships went there, went that way. Okay. So I'm thinking it's this way. So you know what? I'm going to head so that the south is towards the right. I'm going to head in that direction because that seems to be where they're guiding me. head that direction. Now keep in mind that the ships no longer land at minor settlements. So even if we decide to go there, we're not going to get anybody landing there. Unless it's a, you know, someone who wants to sell something. In which case I don't think we'll have the money to buy it anyway. But I do need to find something soon. A trade terminal and at least, at the very least. Toxic protection while we're here. There we go. And we're back. You should really, like, face plant to get... Oh, go figure, it's a trade terminal. Hmm, that actually worked. Hmm. I'm not going to be able to see them. Oh, wait a second. Okay, no, no, I'm just going up and over the hill. I don't know, let's sell some stuff. Uh, let's get rid of the guys, 60 thou. JPs, I forgot I had them to be honest. Look at that, 1.4 million, huh? Uh, I don't need that, I don't know why I made it. High nice cobalt, get rid of that, we don't need it. And Gek relics are gone, I do have a dihydrogen, let's get rid of the Corvax. Okay, that gives us what? 1.6 mil. We should get an achievement anytime now. Alright, what's this for? 5% life power, let's go ahead and take them all. together. I'll be approved. You, 
I'll put you up here because I'm using you. Moving on. And we got six of the seven species. If we can get the seventh, we automatically get a bunch of nanites, basically. I don't think I'll get the next one yet. Whoa, hello. That's just a drop off there. Take another quick peek just to see if we need to go anywhere. Yeah, okay. I'll sell the data at the next spot I have to cross. What we're hoping for after almost an hour of playing is we're hoping for obviously some sort of a landing platform would be the best and archive would be the second best. I don't particularly care for the archives as much um, just because I'm inside of a tree. How interesting. Machinery over there. Trade terminal, that's where we came from. Okay. Okay, we'll head to the damage machinery. There we go, that looks good. Boink. All right. What else can we talk about? So, let's see. As I said, I've been around a while playing games for a very long time. Um, I'll try to keep an eye on things while I'm doing this. Well, what do you know? It's inside. Hey, I think we got it. Cool. Well, excuse me. There we go. Cheapskate. Where'd you guys go? You hear a ship pass by and you don't see them. It's out there uh, cloaking. Uh, cloaking turned on. Okay. Anywho. So again, I've been doing this for a long time and I do like playing games. I have pretty good reflexes. So, this way. tend to enjoy spending this time. I mean, current lab, this is pretty much why we, we game, right? We try to escape from the realities of life. We'll escape from the responsibilities that we have. Yeah, my kids can feed themselves with it. So, kind of enjoying it. Kids, I'm going to be buying No Man's Sky for as well. We're going to be able to play together at some point, which I think would be pretty cool. I just, I really think it's a fantastic game by itself. Great to find an indoor building. Even a minor post would be great. Anyway.
supervisor. A tech support department. I'm trying to make it into... Well, it's kind of hard to say what you want to make it into. I mean, I mean, it is what we all make of it. Myself and the people that work with me. I look for very creative people who have their... journey soon because we need we need cash we need some money two million is not enough um, so yeah uh, I help support a tech support department I help run it I have a great group of people that work with me um, really enjoy uh, the people that I have worked for me I think they're a good group of people different walks of life and different backgrounds and, you know it's that home away from home it's that family mentality you know a lot of people say you know well yeah it's not really a family but, you know it is you get to know these people you get to know their lives you know the men and women that you work with their uh, significant others that they enjoy time with what they do on the sides what they do in their background uh where am i going that way how far um Sometimes you almost seem to spend more time with them than you do with your own family, sadly. I hope for a day when you don't have to worry about that as much, but for the time being. It's the way it is. It's the way this planet that man has decided how it's going to be. reception after this, which happens to be one of my employees getting married. So, looking forward to that. My wife and I are going to turn it into a uh, kind of a night out for us as well. So, looking forward to that too. And while recharging, let's recharge. done, but if this thing's worth a million credits, I have to ask, was it worth the detour? And I think personally it is. I mean, I'll end up with something that's only worth 200,000, but still, that's 200,000 more than I have. So, I think it's a good idea. Just over an hour. Just over an hour. Kind of like the music. Be, it's pretty cool. You gotta have some background music, but the piano music in the background is very nice. I kind of like. You know, and while we're here. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take all of it. He gave me a boo boo. Yeah, that's right, I said. Alright, I think it's a good time. 
time to get a battery out. I didn't really use that much heavy batteries. Oh, it took both of them. No, I had more than one battery left. What the heck? I need some more. Alright. disappearing. So how far? 387. Okay, so we're at the top of the hill. storyline, I wouldn't have it yet. Which ones wouldn't be getting the very technology either. Unless I came across one that was sort of unburied. Yay. That's not the ones I like to get. Oh, jeez. areas that your toxic protection doesn't need to work. Ooh, we can get a couple of those gravitino balls while we're here. Uh-oh. Yep, we locked up. Okay. Interesting. I thought something was going on. Game locked up. Well, folks, we're going to have to pause here for a second. I'll mute myself while I uh, go ahead and clean this up. We'll probably edit that in the audio. Hang on. weird. Okay. Let's go about again. The good news is it auto saved two minutes earlier to my uh, lockup. So we should be okay. I probably won't have been on the 
platform yet there. The plateau where the place was located here, so. Very interesting. Again, like I said, my video card wasn't even struggling. I'm not even sure what happened there. It's overclocked a little bit, but not enough to lock up like this. And there's not enough going on to have caused this issue, even with uh, OBS running in the background. So, interesting. Let's see what happens. What I was thinking of doing at some point is actually doing a, a parody of ASMR and actually doing an ASMR short, very short, like five minute video. ASMR, No Man's Sky. And find myself a sentinel pillar and get into the middle of a heat of a battle and start, and then overlay it with a, with a voice audio of very calm, soothing sounds, brown noises in the background while people are screaming. I think it would just be funny as all get out. Uh, yep, see, we're not too, too far away here. Well, that was very strange. Hey, hey, yay, we get that accomplishment again. Yay, thanks, appreciate it. Jerk. Uh, er, er, uh, no kidding. Boink. Ah, uh, that went down instead of up. I hate that. All right, let's, uh, hey, let's recharge, shall we? Technology recharge. There we go. Deja vu. Hey, we made it. Hey, you know, there's some Gravitino balls over here we might want to get cash in on as well. Let's switch over to my terrain manipulator. Okay, good. Didn't lock up. Alright, now I'm familiar enough with where everything is. The main chest is down here. Should be right there. There it is. We'll find one of the keys over here. There's a bunch of those here, but you only need three. And you'll find a second one over here. Two. Third one down here. Great. And we're out of here. So there's one Gravitino ball up there, and there'll be another one over here that we can get access to. Uh, one key, two key, three key. And rare item. Ooh, this one's worth a lot. 25.52. Yeah, we got a well over a million, probably closer to two. That was definitely worth the time. There you go. Two million units. Does he know? Or does he know? There we go. Get rid of those. Put you down there in the saleable items. That is hazard protection. Okay. Grab it now? No. So which way are we going? This is the opposite direction from the way, way we're going to be headed. So what we do is we go up here, because you know the sentinel's going to come after me. Recharged. Ready? Look that direction, and there they are. Go over here. Get the second one. Because you're only going to get two. There is a third one, but you can't get it. And use your jetpack. Keep going. Hey, how you doing? Uh, there we go. Vertical, uh, 
journeys here. And it's over. Oh, that was loud. Good grief. We ended up with 80,000. Not bad. I'm not sure if I want to keep that. We'll see. Um, so where to? Hey, look. An unknown building. Okay, we'll head that way. gotta be kidding me. I just found a ship. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This challenge is over. Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel. I'll take them both, thanks. Let's go ahead and charge up the mining beam for the heck of it. Let's go ahead and charge up the life support. And we'll take a look at this. That way we have everything here. Let's see what we can get out of all this. I don't think we'll have to purchase anything. Look at this. We found ourselves a crash ship, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're here. I think we did it. And how far in? We're just over an hour. Holy mackerel. One of my best runs I've had in a long time. Let's get all this stuff anyway. Let's go ahead and we've already checked this out. No, we haven't. I know. I seem to be delaying the inevitable, but... You never know what you're going to get out of any of this. I do have to fix it up. Not all the way, but I just have to make it flyable. Uh, warning signal. Because I'll get the, yeah, teleport receiver, of course. I won't be installing it, don't you worry. Okay. And it's an Explorer class. Ooh, nice. And B class as well. That's not too shabby. What? Is that? Oh, okay. Those are the new. These are the new um, supercharged spots that are on the ship here. So I need a medic seal, metal plating, pure ferrite, and a hydrogen. Hydrogen jelly. Dihydrogen I can get right now. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Claim the ship. It is now mine. Let's get inside, shall we? Let's go ahead and let's make a dihydrogen. I think do we have anything we can make? We can make a medic seal. Can we get the plate? Yes, we can. So we can, we can repair one of these right now. And we can repair this partially. And I have to get some pure ferrites, so I need to make one more metal plate, which I can't make right now. Okay. Let's get out. Um, where to? We've got a cave system here. Let's mine some... Nothing. I can mine nothing. You get nothing. So I mentioned I'm from uh, New York originally, so I grew up... Oh, that's not it. I uh, grew up there until I was about 14, and then moved to Florida for about 20-some years. Um, that's where I met my wife. We got married when I was about 21. Two kids and moved to Kentucky. Then we had two more kids. Or minions, as I call them. Sadly, they're all just like me. Okay. We are set. I think I have enough. I need 50. How much do I have? 19. I need 50. So I'll send them over there, so we'll go over here to get our ferrite dust. I need 50 ferrite. So 31 more ferrite is what I need. Twenty-three. And I got some more. That should get me up to fifty, I think. Sure enough. So 
guess what we get to build. We need 50. happened on two other permadeath runs that I've done where I found an actual crashed ship. Um, one, I found it about the same amount of time. It took me an hour to find it. Incredible. And the second time, it happened on my 17-hour run. Um, yeah, I could find a landing platform or even a minor settlement to save my life. And the only thing I could think of is... And the ship is now repaired. Can I repair this too? I need chromatic metal. I got sodium nitrite. Nitrate. I need chromatic metal. I would really like to repair the shield. I need copper. Ammonium. Ammonium. Copper 304. Copper 600. Could have swore I saw some really close by. Magnetized ferrite. Crashed ship. Okay, so it was over here, right? Ammonia. Ammonia. Where's the copper at? 665. Copper, 11. 700. What the heck? Where did it, where did it go? 304. That's what I'm looking for. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Nice. So we just need about a hundred. Now we should really, really make a base too. Need another 30 chromatic metal for that, so 160 copper is what I could need. Looks like we're gonna get it. Test my theory again. That's why I want to make this really flyable because I want to head out to um, in that direction south, like I said, and a little bit to the left and see if I find what I'm looking for a landing platform. Let's fix the shield. Oh, we haven't done it yet. I wonder, I'm looking around and I'm really, really wondering whether 
because I had the volume on the game turned way down, and I wonder whether something happened when I turned the game back off again. Let's let's get this down a little bit. I'm gonna turn that down from here. Yeah, see that does help. Hopefully you can hear me a little better. Wow. Okay, this is literally taking forever. Uh, you. Shields are working. What does that need? A sodium, a wireling loom, a chromatic metal. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about the hyperdrive either. Let's get the rest of this, just because. Phew, that really is something. Unbelievable. And you know what? We didn't get the other animal, unfortunately. Really wanted to find that one extra animal, because that would have given us crap tons of nanites. Probably about 2,000, 1750, somewhere in there. That would have been nice. But we don't really need them, right? Because we're done. As soon as this one's done, we will pick up the whole thing. And we'll fly our butts out of here. Un unbelievable. Unbelievable. Very excited that we were able to get this done. Hour and a half, not bad. I mean, that's how long I've been recording for, about an hour and a half, but um, what we, about five, ten minutes in is when I started the run-up, so that's not bad at all. We're going to see what the save game shows us at the end. And chromatic metal. There we go. Shall we? Now, something I want to do first. I like my first-person view to be locked on to key number one. All right, so south. That's south. Let's head in this direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get to see, scan things. Nothing yet. So I'm really curious as to what we would have found had we kept heading in this direction. First things first, we would have been walk walking for a long time. Unbelievable. Okay. Huh. And we should have found something by now, right? It's not a bad looking ship. Always were curious about these kinds of ships. Why aren't we finding anything on the ground? Is it because my scanner isn't working? Or... Hey, what? If we're crying out loud. Really? You couldn't tell me that was there? Is there something wrong with the ship that I don't have the ability to scan things? Not that I can see. That's really weird. Guess what we can find here? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey, what's up? Blah, 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 blah. Multi-tool, give him some carbon. Grunts and satisfaction, teach him a couple words. Thank you. Let's get some more words. Let's recharge the shield. Not that that helps any. Check our stocks. Wow, this place has everything. Huh? Nanites, nice. But I learned five words. Yay. Uh, stress call. I wonder if it's the ship that I just found. Always number one on that one. Anyway. That would be funny if it was the exact same ship I just found. That would be hilarious. But see, the good news here is if I can get a second ship, I can sell it too. Possibly even trade it in. Uh, where, where at? 13 hours. Okay, that's in the other side of the planet. So, okay, not worried about it.
Okay, let's skadoodle. And there's another place right here. Why didn't it tell me? You know what? It's not registering. That is really, really strange. I think we gotta find ourselves a glitch. Because, yep, yeah, I found that. Okay, there it goes. Really weird. That's just a landing spot. Nothing special. Oh, one of those transmission towers. Okay. Alright, let's find south again. This way. A little to the left. Okay, there we go. And scan. I'm bobbing. Bob and weave, bob and weave, bob and weave. Nothing. We are going to call the anomaly up. I, I don't get it. I mean, I'm, I'm passing over stuff. I can, yeah, there it goes. There it goes. It's finding them again. It should be finding all of these settlements that I passed over, and it wasn't. It should be finding plants and flowers. See, there's one. Transmission tower. Hey, look at that. Why didn't it find that? Why didn't it find this? Finding a landing platform with the ship is going to be almost impossible. Okay, so we'll, we'll go just a little bit longer. I wanted to get a clear two hours at least out of this broadcast, and you know we'll we'll trim it down a little bit, do a little bit of editing for to fit in the time allotted and for content and for you know just like on TV. Brought to you today by the number two. Just, I think, where my son is at the moment. I'm sorry, that's terrible. I shouldn't do that to him. See? Another thing. What that? That's a minor, that's a minor settlement. Why aren't you registering? shiny one. Still see. I probably don't have the money to buy it. Ah, three million. Yeah. Yeah. That's not happening. Not bad. Hi there. Take that. Uh, let's sell all the crap in my inventory. I don't need the heptaloid weed anymore. Let's get rid of the projectiles. I just don't want them in there. I don't get anything from it. Eleven of those. Hey, look at that. And a Plus 6.8%. That's fantastic. I'll keep that because I'm going to repair something with it. And there we go. And I'm up to 4.5 million. That's pretty good, considering the fact that that means that likely I will be... Let's see if I get a multi-tool out of him. Hand over the multi-tool. Let's see what the replacement looks like. Whoa. Huh. Beam, of course, a geology cannon it has installed already, and a scatter blaster. Pretty cool. I think we should take it. Nice. That's actually pretty good, man. Let's take a look at the multi-tool for a second. I mean, that's that's pretty not bad. Huh. that in there. We need two carbon nanotubes and that. I don't know if we even have the ability to make that. What was it? 
that hydrogen, I think. Yep. There we go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Now we need ammunition. Go figure. Oh yeah, that's uh, yeah. I can't make any. I need ferrite dust, which you can't buy anymore. Another thing, huh? Let's see what components you got, pal. I do need some of these. Uh, microprocessors. I need at least two that I'm aware of. I will take your wiring loom, sir. Thank you. Uh, I don't need that. I don't need that. <laughs> Go figure. Hmm. He has the hydrogen jellies. Okay. First of all, it's turning out to do that every time because it's got something it wants me to do. No. Nope. Bye. I don't need it. Ay ay ay. Now what? I don't. I don't, I don't understand why it's getting upset. So that's why I want to open that up. I want to get those microprocessors, so let's go ahead and fix that. And we need two more hermetic seals. I don't know if we can make those. What do we need? Okay. There we go. Now that's open. So what can we put there? Geology cannon, or maybe we know we're going to put the scatter blaster there, and that way we'll get some more power potential. Look at the power went up; the damage potential doubled. Wow! Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's that's good stuff, man. Being scanned by that stupid sentinel there. Which way is this? South. I still want to head south. I, I'm really interested to see what the ship's about. I mean, my pulse drive should be okay, right? Hyperdrive is out. I don't see anything that even looks like a pulse drive, so... Oh yeah, there's the pulse. Uh, okay. You know, you want to prove a point. Okay, let's stop that. Thank you. You want to prove a point regarding the ships that were flying around and say that, yeah, see, if you follow these ships and you go in their general direction that they're telling you to go, you lean in the direction that they tell you to lean, and you should... Look at that drop pod. Nah, I'm not going to do that right now. I know I'm crazy. But we're about to get rid of this. We don't want to waste any more time than we've wasted at this point. The point is, is that if we looked for a trading, uh, yeah, a, a landing platform, we would have been walking a very, very long time. So the fact that we stumbled across a crashed ship is just nothing short of a miracle. So let's check out the other crashed ship real fast. system. Um, let's see what we got here. Hopefully it gets to daylight again. Yeah, good. So, complete opposite side of the planet. Let's see what we got here. Kind of looks like a crab claws on top like this. Anyway, um, huh, and look at that. It's right there. I'm gonna land over here. I don't have anything on this ship that I need. So I'm gonna get out of here, and I'm gonna take a run over there. Yep, not far at all. Uh, I just realized what I was hearing. Ah, okay. Get some of these. Just 
getting some ammunition. That's good. What is that? Oh, it's a hauler. Sweet. Not much traded value, but it's worth it's worth a little. So you know what we need to do? We need to make a metal plate, so we need a little bit more. All right. Okay, there we go. That should, I think, be enough. Of course, it's short by one. Come on, don't I have a rock I can pummel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get a metal plate. We gotta get a hermetic seal. We gotta get a... I don't recall. Let's find out, shall we? First, let's see what kind of gift it can give us. Uh, search for... what I get? Two Viking effigies and a starship launch fuel. I could, I actually do need that. Not for long, I know. It's almost over. I'm dragging it out a little bit, I apologize. But this is good stuff, man. Come on. There we go. Take the ship. All right. I am going to claim it. Because this one's actually, I think, worth more. Let's, let's get in and, and fix it first. All right, so we got the hermetic seal and the plate. Let's not worry about that. I have to get this going, so let's get that going. We need a dihydrogen jelly. I got a spare spot right there. And she's fixed. Um, I usually like to get the shield going. I'm kicking it around. I don't know if I'm going to or not. I'd like to find a landing platform, to be honest with you. So, because its value is pretty good. Let's, let's do something here real quick. Let me get the other ship. Nope, not trading. Alright, so take a look at this. It's worth 10 million units. This one's worth 16 million. So the trade in value on this is much better. So we're going to take this. We're going to try to find ourselves a landing platform. So actually, go to the space station and do that. How much do we have in it uh, on us? Not a lot, 
but we should be able to get an, an, a ship that is completely and utterly not something we even have to worry about as far as repair-wise is concerned. All right, let's head to the space station. Let's do that. Not bad, though. Space station be this way. Sorry, you gotta listen to it whining at us. Um, this is new. Identify myself. Oh, it started the um, storyline. Interesting. Huh, what do you know? It started up the storyline. Fascinating. So I guess that's something they built into the latest update. They uh, got the storyline working. Cool. Very nice. Well done. Well done. Well done. Indeed. So that was a toxic, ta uh, uh, toxic planet we was on. This is a fractured planet. That one up there with the rings might be a better planet. Ah, hate that. Cloudy. Any other planets here? One, two, oh. You have moons. It's no moon, everybody. It's a space station. Humid, with aggressive sentiments. Oh, very nice. That, I'm going to say, is fiery of some sort. Volcanic. Airless. How fascinating. I was wrong. Come on, come on, don't go too far. And the other moon is a rocky moon. And then there's the planet we came from. And I see no other planets. Okay. Back to you. In the studio. Okay, so we'll hit that space station. We're going to see what lands. We'll see if we can get something. I'd like to just get a good ship. That doesn't need repair. So... The new thing you have to learn about with these current settings I've got right now is that you will not get full value if you try to part this one out. Ah, the awesome music of landing at the space station for the first time. You can't help but bob your head to it. That was no uh, dig it survival bob. Wrong type of bob. And here we are. So now here's the thing. If you come over here and you try to sell it. Now I know it's going to be hard to hear me, but the music will end soon. If you try to sell it, let me show you what it's going to sell for. 1.5 million. It's ridiculous. But that's because of the settings we've got right now. And I'll grab this wrong. Well, we're here, let's take a look. Kind of economy, sustainable. So we're about a B economy, or tier two, as they call it. Now, this should be similar to the one we saw on the planet. Yeah, it's an A class one, though, too, and it's got three areas plus a paralysis mortar. Sweet. Bet you it's way too much than I can afford. Eight million, yep. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway, ships should be landing by now. There we go. Fighter for nine million. That would be kind of nice. I don't think we can buy it, though. Uh, I don't like shuttles. That's 27 gazillion. But how about you? Now watch this. Now, I may not be able to afford a ship, but watch this. See, the trade-in value is double what I would have... What I would have done. So at least I get more money for it, but I still can't afford it. So I need to find, I've got four, five, six point eight. I gotta find something really, really cheap. Actually, since he's here, that's not the ship landed, that's worth it. Let's trade out some of the crap I've got on me. Uh, we'll get rid of the wiring wheel, we don't need it anymore. Uh, let's see what else we got. Keep that stuff, let's get rid of the Corvax casing, the salvage data and the Viking energy. That should be good. 4.3 plus 1 plus 
So that's almost 7 mil. Oh, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, hauler. That shouldn't be expensive at all. Only 60 mil. Hey, there's the one I've similar to the one I got. 55 mil. 13 mil. You all suck. Uh, that's my ship back there. I gotta remember where I am. Who you are. Boink. How many nanites I got now? Eh, not quite 400. Is that? Sure enough, it's a traveler. Huh. Yep. Eh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Like I said, we're going to go out and try to get ourselves a decent ship here. Um, I don't think the B-class ship we had would sell for more, to be honest with you. So let's see what we can do. We're going to be hopeful and hope that something lands here that's worth our... It's worth it. I'm not sure what just landed. Oh, that thing. Oh, yay, another shuttle. Be sitting down the 17 mil. So maybe we can find a C class fighter that lands that hopefully be worth my time. Um, I'm not going to hope on the. Oh, what are those called? Uh, my favorite vessel, and I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. Um, the solar, solar ships. Because those are usually in the 20s. Even the C-class one is in the 20s, usually. Hmm. Checking for stuff. Because usually you can get some things here, like that. It'll usually just give you navigation data. Which used to be yellow. I'm kind of missing that. There's a second one. Sometimes you get nanites out of these, though. There we go. That gives us another navigation data. More nanites. I'd love to have a jetpack booster of some sort. Movement, yes. Shield, radiation, movement. 1,000. Wow. Talk about your markups. That hurt. That really hurt. I can get one for 139. I could have got a B-class one if they had it for 300. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Explorer. 8 mil. I might be able to... I don't know if I can afford that. I think I need something for 7. Is this C-class? Yeah. I don't know if I can afford it. That sucks. That's a nice little explorer sh ship there. Not even bothering. 31. What about you, Mr. Fighter? 8 mil. Come on, man. Nobody got one for 7? Uh, what if I sell it? If I sell it, I walk away with a million, right? Walk away with 1.2. It gives me 5.5. The next ship that I've got, I can trade in, and I'm probably going to get not too. I'll probably get about two million for it. So, 7.5 might be worth it. Which inventory space do I have? I haven't got enough space. Why don't we do it? Of course, what'll happen is I screwed up, and I'm going to have to find a way to get extra cash, or I'll have to sell it for a cheaper ship. Than I so let's go ahead and do this. Claim scrap. Claim scrap. We get upgrades. Pulse engine, starship, and hyperdrive. Let's go ahead and get those traded out. Um, sell. This is an extra 120 up to 600 nanites. That's pretty good. And let's sell the stuff we got. Oh, it pulled that ship up. Well, crap. And I mean that. Oh. That 
should have pulled the other ship up, but now that I think about it, this one's in the spot then. Yeah, yeah that would explain it. Crap, I didn't think about that. Storage augmentation, let's go ahead and sell it. Uh, where is it? There we go. Subatomic, circuitry, spool and nano cables. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that too, it's just taking up space anyway. So we got a little over six. What is this ship worth? I have to take it out of the mix, not your ship. Hello? How much closer do I get to need to see it? It's... No, it says it's worth eight. Which means I'm probably going to get less than a million. I'd say about 500, I'm guessing. Because I do have to sell it. I need to get rid of it. 3.4 million. Huh. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. I don't want to cheat. Um, I have to repair it. So let's fix it up. Okay. You know why? You know why it's worth so much? Is because it doesn't have anything else that needs repairing. So, let's see if I have the inventory to take care of... I can't get a metal plate. I'll have to buy one. And I can't get a hermetic seal. I'll have to buy one. Crap. If I can repair it, I'll fly it to the anomaly. We'll swap the ship around. Let's see if I get lucky here. I can get a metal plate. And I can't get a hermetic seal. Ugh, what a mess. I have caused my own mess. <sighs> what the heck? It won't let me repair it. Right, let's get in the ship and see what happens. Letting me take off? Okay, that's a glitch. Only anomaly. We'll swap around the ships. I think I've got multiplayer on, so we're gonna see some activity here, folks. That's really, really strange. Okay, so that's a glitch. I'm gonna have to report that one to the Zen desk. Huh. switch over to the other ship. There we go. Okay. Without doing anything else, and we'll head back out. We'll go right back to the space station. Oof, that was weird. Again, I'll get to reporting at the Zen desk, because if you don't report it, they don't know about the glitch. And, you know, that could be a very significant glitch if you can use your starter ship to start flying around with unrepaired because it kind of beats or defeats the purpose of the whole uh, storyline to be doing that, so. All right, here we go. Let's try this again, shall we? So restore points saved. stand up here and wait. Okay, this is it. So we got a little over six mil. This one's worth ten. I'm guessing I can get maybe two, probably a million and a half. But maybe two.
shuttle. Fighter. There we go. Shuttle's gonna be worth too much. And it's a B class at 11 mil. That looks like. Is it an explorer? Yes, it is. Kind of the funky ones. 8 mil. Again, I don't think I have the money to buy that. Looks like I've got another explorer coming in. 12 mil. Because it's a B class. Let's see if we can get this one. Survey says we can exchange. We've got it. Ladies and gentlemen, challenge complete. We have ourselves a brand new ship, and it is in excellent condition and excellent flying capacity. Yay! Uh, it normally has one spot that is supercharged on one of these ships, but I do not see it, Sam. I am. It's probably when you expand it that you get that expanded uh, that you get that one slot that's supercharged. So, um, as we expand in the exosuit, you will find more ex uh, more expanded slots. Uh, pardon me, supercharged slots. We don't have any at the moment, so I'm not really worried about that. But hey, I think we did pretty stinking good. I think we did a great job here. This is absolutely fabulous. Um, we couldn't have done a better run at this if our lives depended on it. Hey, look, I'm landing again. Isn't that funny? So, there is my ship. That is hilarious. And over here, I'm just curious what this one was going for. Yeah, see, we could have gotten this and some extra cash. 2414, but this one has 2616, so it's actually good. Hey, what are you showing off now? Pain in the neck. Anyway, so we're going to call it here. Let's go ahead and exit to the mode select 24 seconds ago let's see how long it took 1 hour and 41 minutes I guarantee you guarantee you this would have taken a lot less time in the end um, but pretty cool um, just to give a rough idea what? why not we got a few extra minutes let's go ahead and do this I am going to show you my current save um, this is just a normal save, nothing special. It's been going on for years that I've had this one. Actually, this one's probably about a year old now that I think about it. The other save I have is from day one, the one with over 250 or 60 hours or something like that. Uh, this one's at 160 and is everything I could hope it could be. Um, it's got a wonderful setup. I have uh, a great uh, freighter, a uh, nice big, huge uh, Star Destroyer shaped one. Um, this is just a little miniature base that I've been thinking of kicking around, turning it into my main base. One of my ships here is the Skylark of the Air, um, which is a nice, cool little ship. I love the flaps that open on the side when it lands. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is my current character in all his glory. Kind of a gold and blue theme that I've got going on. Um, this, Like I said, this particular place is in no way complete. It's just basic. I've been kicking around some ideas of how I want to do it and haven't decided exactly what I wanted to do with it. So, um, But I love, absolutely love this planet. Let me show you why. Uh, let's go into picture mode. Um, and let's put the sun down there. And let's go up a little bit into the sky and take a look down. Ah, it's not going to show you. Um, this is one of these glowing planets. The, everything glows. The plants glow, the mushrooms glow, the grass has a rolling glow to it. Um, we'll have to go someplace in order to see that. Let's go ahead and do that. I haven't upgraded this ship at all. This is a new ship that I've acquired not too long ago, and I have... Um, yet to do anything to it. Uh, let's see, let's go this way. Oh, let's show you the freighter while we're here. And every now and then, whenever I restart the game, this will flip upside down and its top will be facing the planet, which is just so stinking cool. I love it. I've got my whole flotilla of frigates that go along with it, um, including some of the newer uh, living frigates. 
that are really cool looking. As you can say, my, see my scheme is mostly gray, dark gray. Um, but my capital ship is one of the really, really, really big ones. It is S-classed. It took me a long time to get this son of a gun, let me tell you. But let's land and I'll take you for a quick tour. Take a look around. I love it. Your little flaps open up. That is just so cool. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I just absolutely adore that. Here's some of my other ships. Uh, like you see, I've been around a while, so um, this is, I've named this the Freudian ship. Yep. Love the name. And this is the Golden Vector. This is from the very first expedition that we came out with. Nice S-class ship, uh, ship here. I do have, of course, this one is going to be a throwaway. I'm going to trade this in. Dance of Dreams. I, I decided I didn't want it after all. My Blue Divide is one of my favorites. I usually default to that. And this, I'm keeping this one around. It is a um, cargo ship that I got from one of the expeditions or Twitch Drops. I don't remember. Um, but I keep it around because I... Um, in case I really need some heavy storage ships is the reason I was having that. So now let me show you this one real quick. Uh, my my baby here. So let's show you the technology spot. So this is how the technology does. You do have some supercharged spots on here. I have loaded my um, infra knife uh, into the supercharged spot and it's currently putting out 44,000 damage. 29,000 peak uh, against shielded ships and 44 against unshielded. And you think to yourself, man, that's a lot. I mean, that, that supercharged spot really, really does a great job, and it really does help. Um, huh. I don't have this set up properly. Where is Nada and Polo? There we go. They all give each other, which gives me extra hyperdrive or maneuverability, if I remember correctly great maneuverability with this ship. Let's just take it for a quick spin so you can see it. I have another solar ship that I really also enjoy, but this one is just sweet looking. It's blue and gold with these like teal, uh, slightly greenish looking wings. Let's flip us upside down so you can take a look at it and go into picture mode. Uh, let's take a look at this. Of course, I'm getting a message right about now. Look at that beauty. How pretty she is. I mean, the design isn't always the best, but it is just such a beautiful colored ship. I love the colors on this ship and really, really like this a lot. Um, let's land and I'll show you my other ship. And I've got the temporal displacement on the uh, exhaust here. Oh, hello. I flew right past it. Come on, baby, you're better at this maneuvering. Hello. Thank you. What is that all about? Nice. It's a really nice ship. So my original um, solar ship was the Hand of Death. I, this one was just absolutely bazonkers crazy cool. So, hang on just a second here. And if I'm not mistaken, 62,000 damage because I have two supercharged slots it has access to. 41,000 damage. Incredible. The damage this thing puts out is absolutely phenomenal. Um, you can see maneuverability is over a thousand, hyperdrive range 1800. This thing is just a phenomenal ship. And look at it, look at it. The purple wings, the red. It's just, it, it's like, it's a hot rod. It's what this thing is. I love this ship. So let me get out of that. There we go. Let's get one of the other ships. I do, of course, being in the game so long, I have to, of course, have my organic ship. Wait for the special effects to load. There they are. With those special effects, it makes it just that much cooler of a ship. So, yes, I have to have one of those. I don't 
think there's any other ships that you haven't seen here. There's the cargo ship, Fortean ship, Vector, Blue Divide, there's the Skylark. Oh, Mistress, that's the only one you haven't seen, this guy. I just got this one recently. Ruthless Mistress. It's a nice looking ship. I love the, the again, the yellow and the blue for some reason always do something for me here. But let me show you something about this ship. I've got it set up the same way, but I found some extra spots. This one has three supercharged spots. So what kind of damage? 55,000. 55,000 damage from this ship. And I haven't even finished upgrading everything yet and adding everything in. I am just absolutely phenomenally blown away by it. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how awesome that is. There we go. Got to get that in there. So, yep. Love that ship. Let's take you on a tour real quick of the interior of this lovely vessel. Yeah, this one's the same thing, because I actually did the same thing with its weapons. That's really loud. Sorry. Yep. 45,000 damage. Incredible. Love it. Oh, it's the number two door again. That door, for some reason, when it opens and closes, makes an incredible amount of noise. Uh, another glitch that we kind of need to report. The number two door on freighters. I don't know if it's a specific freighter, but I know it's on all mine. I don't have this set up too crazy. I am not Beetle Bump by any means. I have it set up logically. I have my planetary probe. I have just outside the main doors here a teleporter. I have the refiner. And I have the trade terminal. All my cargo terminals are all the way over there. They're all named appropriately. I've got all the uh, ship uh, expedition, shipping expeditions I have over here, along with some of the usual stuff. Uh, I have a little outdoor uh, veranda, I guess you can go on to, so you can see the ship. That really is cool. This is what I mean about this game, folks. It's really so cool. You can step outside. I'm in space. I love it. I love this. And, of course, since the name of the ship is... Since the name of the ship is... The Death's Head Mark V. Grand Admiral Thrawn, folks. I have to, of course, have a trophy room. Where I store all the things I've collected. Posters, of course. All the trophies. I make it look kind of like a little miniature throne room that you can come into here and peruse all the things I've gathered over the uh, time, including, of course, all the glitches that you can get. There's eight of them all total, as you can see. And then you have, of course, his office off to one side. There should be a sparring room as well. As we all know, uh, Grand Apple Thrawn loved to spar and keep himself in good shape. So, anyway, I love this room. I love this freighter. I love this whole save. Everything about this save is just awesome. Not to sound like Jason. So I hope you enjoyed this. I put these here so I can know where I'm at. I know where my main <laughs> my main door is, otherwise I get lost. So that's the way this one works. Uh, this is my main save here. Let me go ahead and save it real quick, and we'll get out of this. So I thank you for joining me today. I really had a great time. I think this has been absolutely awesome, and I look forward to upcoming more videos. Um, if you all have any questions, by all means, drop them in the comment section. Um, we're going to do our best to keep an eye on the comments. I do have a secular job where, as I said, I'm a tech support supervisor, got a family to raise, lots of life things that come on. Um, I try to record these things either during the nights or sometimes on a Saturday. So hopefully the next one will be the same. We're going to do a little permadeath run then too, and hopefully it'll be a little better. Uh, we'll probably do a normal save and do a story mode. I think that'll probably be pretty good. Uh, but again, if you have any questions or comments, if you have any suggestions, by all means. If my voice isn't coming through properly, please let me know. Um, I, but I think we did a pretty good job today. Again, thanks for joining me. Uh, I like to always leave these things by telling people that uh, uh, never criticize kindness and always be honest in all things, especially with yourself. If you have any anything else to add, please do so. It was nice seeing you all today. Take care.